Scott Shannon with Creative Chaos in Tennessee. And today I am back with another Scraps to Embellishment haul um, on Ginger's Corner. All the links will be below. Um, this week's theme is Easter eggs. So, um, I actually had planned on doing something different, but then I was organizing my dies and I found this one and I thought, okay, I have to make it. And, of course, I'm taking liberties with it. I'm not doing it exactly like it's supposed to be done. Um, I'm kind of doing my own thing on it. So, I am using, um, I do get these on Timu. These are the add-ons for the gnomes. There is an Easter Bunny gnome one um, around, but they go on to this one. And a lot of y'all have got them. Um, these are just the add-ons. I don't think they're available anymore. I haven't saw any on there in a while. These are the Easter egg ones. And it, um, I'll try to pop a picture up on the screen of what it's supposed to look like. The little chick here is actually supposed to be the hat on the gnome. But I didn't want to make it that way. And then it has like another little uh, chick and an egg and all that stuff he can hold. But like I said, I didn't want to go that route. So um, I've already cut out my pieces. I did ink them already so that y'all wouldn't have to wait to see that. I am using the Distress Oxide Gather Twigs. And I just did very light inking. Y'all saw how I ink very, very lightly. Um, and, let's see, well, <laughs> I took the, uh, ones I already had made in there to show my husband and I forgot them, so, um, we'll just make it together and then you can see what it's gonna look like. Okay, so, the base that I cut for this egg, I just used black because I have more black scraps than anything else. It doesn't really matter because... You're not going to see it. Um, so, it's a good way to use up those scraps. And I cut all of this from scraps. Um, I just tried to find some colors that went together. And pretty much you have one die that cuts all of these. So, I just cut it, you know, four times in different colors. All right, let's see. And then it's this one. And these are really easy, but I did go through and I inked every single piece so that it would be matching. Okay, that was that one. And then, let's see, let's do purple. I gotta make sure I'm not leaving two pieces of the same thing <laughs> to put on the next one of the same color right next to each other, which it really doesn't matter. Um, it would still be cute, but you could do these in all different shades of one color. Those would be cute. Okay, let's go. The next one's gonna have a lot of pink and purple in it. I didn't plan it that way, but that's just how it worked out. Alright. I just thought these were so super cute. Um, the Easter Bunny add-on has does have an egg that they can hold also. So, that's an idea. Let's see. Let's go with blue on this one. Alright, there's the Easter egg put together. Let's just do this one since we're we're already here. It doesn't take long at all to put these together. Once you have everything cut out, I think doing the actual die cutting is the hardest part. <laughs> And I just use all different yellow scraps um, for my chicks. So some of them are darker, some of them are lighter. I think they're all still cute, but 
just like in real life, you get chicks in all different colors. We finally got, we, um, last year got some chickens. I got some specific chickens because I wanted to have the different colored eggs. So we got some, because ours had always only laid brown eggs, because we normally had Rhode Island Reds, or, um, it just went right out of my brain. Yellow Buffs, there we go. Um, but I wanted some of the blue and green eggs and all that. So we got some sapphire gems and some Easter eggers. And they have just started laying again. And they have the most beautiful blue and green eggs. And of course, we're still getting brown ones. Different shades of brown. But they're so pretty. I love them. They taste the same. They're actually, they're colors a little uh they're the taste of the eggs a little more intense like it's really rich but um you know you're not getting a green egg on the inside or anything it's not like you know green eggs and ham <laughs> okay you know i have not been able to find my little picker upper tool and I have had that thing for forever, and I cannot find it to save my life. And I think I know who is responsible for it being missing. <laughs> A certain little kitty cat. I think he stole it. I haven't been able to find it. But I could really use it right now. It works good on these small pieces. So that's how you do the eyes. And then, of course, this is going to be the beak. So, I did um, chalk the cheeks just using a little finger dauber. There it is. I just used this little finger dauber in my decorating chalks that I've had forever. And I just rubbed it down. And then I took my finger and went like this so that it wasn't as intense. And then you're just going to glue the eyes on. And then you're going to glue the beak on. Yep, it goes that way with the pointer, more pointed part down at the bottom so that it's smaller. Okay, and y'all know if I was doing these, not for a mini swap, but just personally, I would pop up some of this stuff on foam tape and all that stuff. But since it is a mini swap, um, I'm not going to, because we need to keep it flat for mailing. So then we have that. Now these wings does not go to this chick. Um, it actually goes on the gnome. Whenever you do the gnome and it's for the hands, um, it has the little wings instead of the hands. But I wanted to add it on. And I was torn between whether I wanted the wings up or if I want to put them on over over the egg so let's just do this and I'm just barely putting it on the edge so that I can put it here because like I said technically this is not how it goes technically the little chick is supposed to be the hat on the gnome but we're adding him to the egg
can't believe it's already Easter, y'all. Like, it's crazy. This year is passing by so quick. Okay. I think I'm going to do its wings like this. I like that. Okay. I'll have to show y'all. Like, I would pop this on foam tape if I wasn't having a male flat. But since I am, I'll just keep them plain. <laughs> He looks excited to be getting out of the egg, right? <laughs> okay. I like that. And then, all that's left is to do the pen detail work. So, use a fine line black pen. Um, you can get like point twos, whatever. This one is a point seven, but it writes fine because if you use a regular pen that's not a fine line, it makes it too bulky looking. Um, it makes your lines too wide and it doesn't look right. So I'm just going in lightly. I'm going to give him some eyelashes. Like normal. And then maybe even some little eyebrows. So that he looks like he's up to something. Okay. And then I'm going to take my white gel pen and draw in the rest of the stuff so i'm gonna do the eyes and then highlight the the nose and up here i'll highlight the wings a little bit and this one where it's such a light color it's not even you know it's not super noticeable I'm just going to give him some little freckles. And that's going to be it. Ain't it cute? And really easy. Now, of course, if you did the actual gnomes and all that stuff, you would have a lot more pieces to put together. It's more time consuming. But I feel like this is a really easy... A really easy one. And I'm sure if you have a cutting machine, there's lots of Cricut files out there um this would be easy to even do if you didn't have a machine or a die cut machine you could totally make these by hand and just draw you some wings and then cut them out and then use a pattern paper um and use for your egg and then this is just like a basic little shape that you could draw and then draw in eyes it would be really easy you could even well for a mini swap, you probably couldn't because it wouldn't be flat enough, but you could put little googly eyes on. So, I think these are really cute and um, really easy, and it's something that you could totally do um, with or without a machine um, if you don't have the style. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed these. I will post some more close-ups at the um, end of the other ones. And until next time, bye, y'all.